Now, Monday's storm damaged 29 power poles as well, including one in Hales Corners. As WISN 12 News' Ben Hutchison shows us, residents in one neighborhood in that suburb got a lot more than a light show. All of a sudden, I hear this big noise, this and then a big blue flash from, lit up the whole area. That's the sound Mike Reed heard while watching the weather roll in Monday night. I figured lightning had hit something back here at the garage and thought, well, Better go back there and find out. Reed checked around his property near 110th and Luther in Hales Corners to find a large tree branch had fallen to the ground. So you can see how the pole is just fine until it gets about five, six feet from the top. We Energy yeah, spokesman Brian Manthe says that blast. branch caused extensive damage to a utility pole. When it came down, it took the wires down. And when it took the wires, it was almost a cascading effect. It also took the cross arm, which holds all of the equipment, the insulators, and the wires themselves. Before the crews can fix the utility pole behind me, they have to de energize the lines above, about 4,800 volts of electricity running through them. We're going to go de energize the transformer. We're gonna Work that was done all over southeast Wisconsin because of similar widespread damage. Damage. More than we have seen in almost 10 years. Uh, back in uh, 2005, we had a storm that took out about 128,000. At the peak of Monday's storm, 115,000 customers were without power. These neighbors just happy the damage wasn't more severe. In Hales Corners, Ben Hutchison, WISN 12 News.